Yep. All right, welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to evaluate for our given point, uh, or evaluate our trigonometric functions for our given point at 3 pi divided by 2. So what we first need to do is figure out where is 3 pi divided by 2. And I, what I did was I drew up kind of a mock um, universe, not a mock, it's actually the unit circle here. But I only did the first quadrant um, just because I didn't want to fulfill all, everything in there. I want us to get used to understanding where our quadrant points are and then also be able to find them. So the first thing I want to do is look at um, when trying to find 3 pi over 2. Remember, halfway around a circle is pi, right? So if I was going to go halfway between 0 and pi, I would label that as pi over 2. So if you think about it, halfway around a circle is pi over 2. Or I'm sorry, halfway between 0 and pi is pi over 2. Over here is pi. So then half, another half unit would be 3 pi over 2. And if I have another half unit, I'm going to get to 2 pi, which hopefully we've already been introduced to. A, a whole revolution of a circle is equal to 2 pi. So here's my point, um, 3 pi over 2. So I need to evaluate this point. So I need to determine what exactly are the coordinate points here. Well, we know that from here, I have, since my radius is 1, I have 1 comma 0. Here's 0 comma 1. So this point's going to be negative 1 comma 0. And this point is going to be the exact reflection of my point up there, which would be 0 comma negative 1. So remember, when dealing with this, when trying to evaluate our trigonometric functions, remember what exactly the trigonometric functions represent. First thing, sine is going to represent our y coordinate. So we evaluate sine for this angle is just going to equal negative 1. Cosine represents the x value, which will be 0. And tangent represents the y over the x. Well, you notice when we have y over x, we have negative 1 divided by 0, which is going to be undefined. Cosecant is just going to be reciprocal, meaning that value over um, this value uh, over 1, or over 1. So you'd have 1 over negative 1, which cosecant, again, is just going to equal negative 1. Um, so here, if we have this value over 1, we reciprocate it. I'm going to have 1 over 0, which is, again, undefined. And the reciprocal of negative 1 over 0, the reciprocal of that is going to equal 0 over negative 1, which is equal to 0 for cotangent of t. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for the six uh, trigonometric functions for our given point, 3 pi divided by 2. Thanks.